Let's take a look at how to identify yellow nut sedge. This particular weed is becoming fairly common in not only uh, home lawns, but also in ornamental beds, farm fields, and other locations. So let's go through here, and I think after we're done, you'll see that this is one of the easier weeds to identify. In this situation you see in a photograph, we think this grass area and this home lawn is just getting some yellow turf or maybe slightly uh, having problems with nutrition but in reality this is a weed coming up and to control any weed proper identification is critical you must know what you're dealing with so for a weed our first question is is it a broadleaf weed a grassy weed or a grass like weed grasses have veins that run parallel so you have the midrib that you see in this particular plant and all the veins run parallel to that midrib. This happens to be corn which is also in the grass family. If it's a broadleaf you have that midrib but you'll see the veins run out uh, branch out from that middle midrib. They're not running parallel to that midrib but they branch out. So that means it's in the broadleaf family. Now, in this particular weed that we're trying to identify, we examine the stems and we see that it's a triangular stem, a three-sided stem. Well, a triangular stem means that it's in the sedge family. Sedges have this three-sided stem, and sometimes we say sedges have edges, to try to remember that. But a triangular stem means that it's a sedge and not a grass. If we were to cut that uh, nut sedge stem we'd see that it's solid and then cross-section it again three-sided. A grass stem would be hollow and then cross-section they're almost flat or oval. So here we again we say that triangular stem means it's a sedge. If the seed head is, is, is present it's a very distinct looking seed head on yellow nut sedge. Here we see a close-up of this seed head. The other distinguishing feature about the seed head is it will have three long leaf-like bracts at the base of each flower head. The other thing about yellow nut sedge, its roots produce tubers on rhizomes or these underground stems. You can see it highlighted in the photo there with the arrow. Buds on the tubers can sprout and they grow to form new plants. This is one of the major ways that the nut sedge uh, reproduces and spreads in, in various fields. Hopefully that will help you understand yellow nut sedge. I think once you get to know this weed, it's one of the easier ones to identify. If you do have any questions, please contact us, Professor Said Education Program, Penn State University.